Hello friends, welcome to TechLake video tutorials. This is Ravi. Uh, today's video, I'm going to give you more information about Unity Catalog. And uh, we'll understand more detail about what is Unity Catalog, why uh, we need a Unity Catalog, and uh, how to configure, or you can say, how to create a Unity Catalog, and how to use a Unity Catalog in Databricks. So when it comes to Databricks, metas to like if you're talking about a databases, tables, all this Metastore default uh, Databricks is integrated with Hive Metastore. So that is Spark is using that Hive Metastore. Databricks is using that. So, but if you're looking for traditional database or uh, traditional uh, kind of things like uh, uh, where information repository like databases, tables, and uh, multiple catalogs if you want to manage. So that is not possible in existing Databricks catalog spark catalog so for that they introduced another catalog is called unity catalog so this unity catalog mainly they introduced for multiple purposes multiple use cases and mainly unity catalog metastore metastore means managing all the metadata databases nothing but schemas or databases tables views all this access control and the user and group management so that's a high level if you talk about a Unity Catalog. Metastore, user and group management, and access control, single Unity Catalog for multiple workspaces. Consider ADB Workspace 1 and ADB Workspace 2. Consider there is a data engineering workspace, and there is another data science or deep learning or any other workspace, data analyst workspace. So the same catalog can be used for multiple workspaces. So same catalog can be used for multiple workspaces. That's a major advantage of Unity Catalog. So primarily divided into three parts, user and group management, meta store, access control. And what are the major benefits we'll get when you go for Unity Catalog? Discover data. The first thing is discover data, which you can search any kind of data sets, uh, which you can go and search maybe in external, maybe managed, so which you can uh, search here. That's the advantage of Unity Catalog, a single point of entry to search and explore your data sets. That's the first one, discover the data. Then manage your data. So manage your data means which your you can manage tables, views, and uh, here schemas, we'll call it as a databases. Here we'll call it as a schemas, everything you can manage inside a catalog. So manage data, manage metadata, and lineage will be the data quality tools, lineaging tools, versioning, and everything which you can manage here. So collaborate on data. So mainly when you are working with, uh, with uh, multiple teams and multiple workspaces, right? So you can, data engineering team can create a table and they can store in a catalog. That catalog can be accessed in other team. Maybe data analyst, maybe data science, or in other or BI team, they can use that the same data set and data governance as well. So Databricks Unity Catalog enable data for different teams, different purposes, different tools you can integrate and mainly data governance point of view to control the data, like depends on if you are a data engineer, you can go and modify the data. If you are a data analyst, just you'll have a read access so which you can manage all these things, auditing purpose, security purpose, and other things. So if you highlight Unity Catalog major features, here it is. Centrally managed and govern all the data sets. Okay, and manage a fine-grained access controls. Unified and secure data search experience. Enhanced query performance at any scale. Even you'll get a better query performance if you go with the Unity Catalog because of metadata internal management and uh, automated and real-time data lineage. This is one of the best feature, mainly if looking at uh, if you have a multiple projects, multiple teams are working, lineage is very important, okay? And the data sharing with other teams, other organizations. And uh, integrating with uh, other tools, integrating with existing infrastructure tools. These are the major benefits you'll get if you go with the Unity Catalog, if you go with Unity Catalog. 
So, what are the objects which we can manage here when you talk about a Metastore? When you talk about Metastore. So, we, when we talk about a Metastore, right? So, here, Unity Catalog Metastore. So, we'll create a Metastore. Inside Metastore, you can create a catalogs. And each catalog, you can go with the schemas. Schemas are nothing but a databases. So traditional database like SQL Server, other database which you can create a separate database, a separate schema. But here schema or database just alias. Schema or database just alias. So one Metastore can have a catalogs. Each catalog can have a schemas. Each schema can have a tables. Manage table means internal table, views, and external tables. So external table means which you can create a table on external locations like a data lake. Uh, Google file, Google file storage or Google cloud storage and uh, AWS S3. That's a external tables. Then other than this, as I told you, which you can go, go with a Metastore, Metastore with a catalog and creating a credentials and creating a external locations and sharing the data and uh, creating a recipients. And the database or schema, just alias, you can call it as database or schema, both are same here. There is no difference like a traditional databases. You can go and create tables, views, and even functions, even external tables. So that external tables can create on top of external locations. For that, you can access external locations using shared credentials. So that you can create here, that you can create here. So when you, look at security model as well and look at security model as well so all these objects which you can control all these objects whatever you are talking about everything which you can control catalogs schemas tables views functions external tables or external locations sh shared credentials everything which you can control which you can grant privileges that may be create, uses, select, modify, read, write, execute. So to the user or to the group, which we can control the privileges. That's a security model. So which you can control all these objects based on your role. So administrators will be giving access, depends on your role. If you are a developer, if you are a BI, if you are a reader, if you are a business user, based on that. So users, when it comes to unity catalog right when you are controlling the access so that may be internal table or you can say manage table or the external table when you talk about external table right external location maybe data like gen2 or maybe aws s3 or google file system so that external anything it may be container dot bucketing whatever it is so any cloud storage so for that we need to create a credentials for that we need to create external locations so we need to create external locations for external tables or if you're directly accessing files from external locations so we need external locations and the storage credentials so that also we need to create so that we will see in the next session so how to create how to create a unity catalog how to create a unity catalog or you can say how to configure unity catalog in databricks then how to use that how to create a table so first we'll see the internal table where it will go stored in a default storage or even you can create a tables in external storage. So that external storage may be any of this. Okay, so this is about just a high level, high level, what is the Unity Catalog and what are the information you are going to get and major benefits from Unity Catalog and information schema. Information schema is very important thing, which every developer mainly should know this because whatever you create a table, whatever you create a view, everything is going to store in this information schema. So this is internal information schema tables. You can see this. All constraints will be storing here. All table constraints, all schemas, okay, all catalog, catalog privileges and catalogs, tables views okay so columns the table columns that key column you say is columns and uh, so that information which you can find in 
information schema. So this information schema is applicable only for Unity catalog. Okay, so Hive Metastore is different. Hive Metastore is a default when you go, when you go with the Databricks, but information that whatever the metadata which you are talking about, the tables, catalogs, views, right? So this metadata mainly for that information schema mainly for Unity catalog. So not related to Hive Metastore. Okay, default one is Hive Metastore, but this is applicable for Unity catalog. So that also we'll see that. So this is about just a high level about what is exactly Unity catalog and uh, look at this objects. These objects are very important. How to create a meta store, how to create a catalogs, how to create a schema, how to create a table. So how to configure first meta store, catalogs, schemas, that we'll see in next video. Thank you. See you in another video. Have a good day.